Avus, uh, so I'm back again. And of course yesterday I was at the uh, Eurogamer Expo, checking out some of the big releases coming out this Christmas. So uh, here's a bit of footage now of some of my uh, highlights of the show. So first up was Gran Turismo 5, again it's a build we've seen several times this year, uh, being shown uh, on 3D TVs. Uh, again we'll be looking more at that in the future. Uh, next up here you see the Dance Central uh, running on Connect. And as you can see, I don't know if it's one player playing here or not, but uh, certainly there was quite a few people from the crowd getting involved and it. it takes a brave man to get on stage and learn that. It certainly seems to be quite intuitive though. Uh, a lot of the people going on stage seem to be picking it, picking it up pretty quickly and it could be one of the major titles for uh, the Connect system when it's released later this year. So not long now, I'm sure the uh, marketing will certainly start driving on that even more soon. Next up was a uh, Little Big Planet 2. Again, the first one was very popular, built a nice community, and again, this version's looking fantastic. Loads more options, and we'll look more at that in the future. Uh, one game that did look very impressive was SOCOM 4, uh, well, Navy SEALs. Uh, obviously not as hard as the SAS, but uh, again, uh, looking fantastic on the PS3. It just shows now how developers are finally starting to get a hold of the hardware. They're really starting to you know, dig, dig that power out now that, that, that they've been mentioning for so long and, and this game really does look fantastic you can see one of the in-game cutscenes here this is all real time of course gameplay very much similar style to uh, the gears of war you know the over the shoulder cam we've seen uh, in the tom clancy goes recon titles as well very tactical uh, you know using the environments you know protecting your man it's certainly not a run and gun type of game but uh, obviously visually looks fantastic and the online play is bound to be so it keeps people coming back uh, time and time again. Of course, one of the big uh, games of the show has been Gears of War 3, which was quite a surprise announcement. It's still in an early stage of development. It's recently been announced that the game will be delayed to the latter half of 2011 to give the developers time to really sort of maximise everything that can go into it. It is the end of the epic tale of uh, the Gears of War sort of franchise, if you like, and again looking fantastic here we're just taking a look at the multiplayer mode and as you can see there's a wide range of new characters i have absolutely no idea what's going on here you've got this big guy being shot by about 10 other guys at the moment and he's a bit slow waddling around the level uh, but he's got a big gun as well so that's going to help him out but um i couldn't really see much from this as you can see strategy wise i wasn't really getting how the big guys going to be used uh, obviously new characters you just saw the cockroach looking creature a moment ago and uh, so it's certainly going to add to the multiplayer I mean Gears of War 1 multiplayer was, uh, was sort of tacked on uh, Gears of War 2 had a few issues with the power of the Lancer and I think this time they're certainly going to look to balance the multiplayer mode and make it bigger and better than ever it's something they want to keep people going on the Xbox not only for release but for many years to come you can see these red gates here as well I don't know if they just cordon you in the level or if they can be destroyed a lot of people running into them as you can see being set on flames um, but it's certainly strategy wise it's something we're going to need to see how that develops some lovely visuals as well there obviously all the Gears of War games look absolutely fantastic this little guy here you see running around again uh, quite sneaky he's kind of a crouch level pops out of a couple of machine guns but obviously runs straight into a shotgun there so he's got a few weaknesses and then big guys there up close as well shotgun shotgun doom for them this little monkey chap i saw as well again no idea on the strategy on how you'd approach it with them but uh certainly nice to have that wide range it seems you can change actually in the middle of a game from one character to the other and it looks um looks pretty good so far next up of course motor storm three of course second one was a uh, fantastic fun and this looks to carry on more of the same really much like the e3 builds there wasn't much more being shown and this footage doesn't really do justice but that's bound to be a cracking title when it comes out and of course finally we've got Dead Space 2 now Dead Space 1 kind of a sleeper hit really it came from nowhere uh, it had a fantastic visuals great atmosphere and you can see in the sequel now it's got a much bigger budget and the visuals are absolutely stunning I mean it's easily one of the games of the show I mean you can see the character here in the room uh, messing with this some device here obviously uh, you have many tasks to complete in the game. It could be changing power systems or whatever, and that's very well, the Event Horizon in its style and look there. For those who know the Event Horizon film, they'll know that's very similar to the, the main engine room, as it were, 
the heart of the ship. So again, great atmosphere, great visuals, and that could really, really do well later this year. You know, it, it has all the elements it needs to uh, look and do the business. Obviously, if you've not played it before, the main nail gun there used to shoot off a few limbs rather than shoot directly at the character. And you can see here, shooting the legs off the character to disable them, and then you sort of stamp on them there, crush the head. And that's always a lot of fun as well, very aggressive. Okay, so lots of uh, cool stuff to look forward to then. Obviously there were filming uh, restrictions at the show, so I wasn't able to get any footage of uh, Medal of Honor uh, or indeed Brink. And Brink does look very impressive indeed. We saw a demo of it on the day before the show, and uh, it's certainly one to watch. But again, you're going to need a hands-on before you make an opinion. And of course the big no-show is always Call of Duty. Everybody wants to see it. Nobody gets to play it, but we'll keep our eyes peeled uh, to get hold of a copy of that at some point in the future. But that's it for now, viewers. Until next time.